Hello, welcome to Oracle DBA02 Pro.com. This is Hassan Mir. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about rollback segments. So, segments we have studied so far include data segment, index segment, temporary segment, and finally, we're going to talk about rollback segment. Before we talk about rollback segment, you need to understand the concept of transaction processing. So transaction processing goes like this. User enters a transaction, then he may enter a few more transactions. Finally, when he's done entering all transactions, he either commits his work or he rolls back. Okay. So transaction in uh, example of a transaction would include an update statement or insert statement or a delete statement. Okay. So they are considered as transactions because you are uh, either modifying the data or removing the data to represent some business uh, event that is happening in the real world. Now the concept is that either all transactions will be saved together or none of the related transactions would, uh, would be saved. Okay, Either all will go or none will go. So uh, in order to facilitate that we have a commit command. So if we want all the related transactions to be saved together then we're going to first enter all the related transaction and then we're going to issue the commit command okay so either a person could do that using uh, any sql editor like sql navigator or toad etc or an application would be doing that using the same concept because the concept is that all related transactions should be either saved together or none of the transactions should be saved so after let's say entering all the related transaction either you will issue a commit command that means we are telling Oracle that we are happy with all the group of transaction that we have entered so Oracle can uh, commit the work and uh, so basically all transaction could be saved in the in the database or we can issue a rollback command rollback means hey something went wrong we are not happy with uh, this group of transactions so we want nothing to be finalized and saved in the in the database right so uh, that that way in order to do that we would issue a rollback command okay so what is the role of rollback segment so this is what happens let's say you enter transaction one let's uh, say this transaction is an update statement to to uh, through a table so we are updating some values in the tables while we are doing that Oracle stores previous values in a rollback segment so let's say you are modifying name from Scott to Larry then Larry would be uh, sorry uh, Scott would be stored in a rollback segment and the, the actual uh, name uh, value in the table would be modified to Larry now as soon as user enters transaction 2 the same thing would happen no matter it's a delete transaction modified transaction or uh, it's an insert statement uh, same thing would happen previous values or, or previous uh, state would be stored in a rollback segment and changes would be applied to the table same thing would happen to transaction 3 okay uh, now let's say at this point user issues a commit command now at this point user could do one of the two things issue a commit command or issue a rollback command okay so let's say user issues a commit command now as soon as user issues a commit command oracle knows that whatever uh, pre uh, whatever information has been stored in the rollback segment is no more needed because we don't need to store previous values anymore we don't need to st because we won't be rolling back the work so it doesn't really matter so Oracle empties the transaction history from rollback segment and the changes are marked as finalized in the actual table now let's say user issues a rollback command instead of a commit command then what would happen if user issues a rollback command then all these Delta that has been stored in this rollback segment all these changes would be applied back to the table so in our example uh, the name Scott will be put back into the into the f first name column and uh, Larry would be removed uh, from that from that cell 
and uh, so this is just an example of an update update uh, event same thing would happen to anything that has been deleted that row would have been stored here it will be put back in the table and anything has been inserted in the table will be removed okay because that information will be kept in the rollback segment this new row has been inserted so all the ch changes will be applied back to the table okay um, so that table will get uh, will uh, take the same state as it was before all these transactions happened. So that's the role of the rollback segment. Okay, so just keep that in mind that whatever changes users are applying are actually happening in the table, but the previous states are being stored in the rollback segment. It's not the other way. It's not that whatever changes users are doing are being stored in the rollback segment and once user issues a commit command only then those changes are applied to the table is not that as it's actually the other way around okay now rollback segment stores history of changes as we just saw rollback segment is used if user rolls back the work as we uh, roll back the work as we just saw in the previous example Okay, another important concept that you should know is that rollback segment is also used to present before image. What is what does that mean? So let's say this is a table and this user is making lots of changes to this table and this user has not committed his work. All other users who are viewing the same table are not supposed to see those changes that this user is making until this user commits the work so all everybody else will be looking at the state of the table uh, that was before uh, this user has made the changes so it's called a before image everybody will be looking at the before image how is the before image presented by uh, with the help of a rollback segment because let's say this user has changed the f first name from Scott to Larry but everybody else is basically looking at the name Scott still because this user hasn't committed the changes yet so if any of this user does a select all on this table then that means this table will be merged with all the history of transaction in the rollback segment and the merge result will be given to this user so that they still see uh, whatever the state of the table was before this user has made made any changes okay so rollback segment is used uh, for two purposes uh, to help uh, this user roll back his work and also to help uh, create before image of the data for everybody else okay so as soon as this user commits now these users will see the new image let me go back to the previous slide uh, and as long as this guy is, this person is making changes all these three people will be looking at before image as soon as this person commits now everybody be, will get a new image of the table okay now in uh, before oracle 10g dbs could create their own rollback segments okay in any table space they like in 11g rollback segment could only exist in system table space there was a reason for that. In 10G, rollback segments functionality was deprecated. Okay, uh, it, it's and uh, Oracle intended to retire this functionality in coming releases. And something else was uh, came into the picture called undo segment. Actually, it existed since Oracle 9i, but now uh, Oracle start promoting this concept of undo segment. In, in Oracle 11G, undo segment will be used and roll, rollback segments will not be used anymore. What's the difference between undo segment and rollback segment? Not much. The main difference is undo segments are similar in structure as basically rollback segments, but details on how they are managed is under control of Oracle. So Oracle is making things easy in terms of management. Uh, now they are basically self-managed kind of rollback segments you can consider undo segment as self-managed rollback segments option of using undo segment was available since oracle 11 uh, oracle 9i so just keep that in mind that rollback segment are basically uh, no more available 
11G onward and undo segments are there which are managed by or hold behind the scenes. I'll see you in the next tutorial.